What do we got here? In front of us, we're looking at the new ATO Studio of Entertainment. My name is Trolls, and this is the most comprehensively deep sampled Vintage Hammond organ ever done. The reason is not because we have over 40,000 samples in the library, or we have all these beautiful vintage microphones. It's not that we got the Precaste reverb and the TC Electronics that we faithfully sampled the entire thing through. No, there are three main reasons for this library that it really, really stands apart. The first one is that virtually all Hammond organs on the market today is using what's called modeling here when it comes to the Rotator and the Leslie, meaning that they're adding effects to mimic the behavior of a Leslie speaker. What we did with this library is that we actually offered you both the model version and the analog engine, as we called it, where we actually sampled everything through a real Leslie loudspeaker. So you have the best of both worlds. In this video, I'm predominantly gonna be focusing on our analog engine because it just sounds a lot better. The Hammond organ, as you know, is a very dirty instrument. There's a lot of stuff going on. When the Leslie kicks in, you can even hear here when I like click the buttons here, there's a lot of noises associated to the instrument and that's the way we love it. So when I'm using the analog engine here, we actually have legato technology that will transfer you from non-vibrato into vibrato notes and will do that fluently. So there's a lot of stuff going on. That's sort of the first part of it. This is true Leslie samples and you have non-vibrato, you have transitional legato samples into vibrato and then you have vibrato. And of course, when you play your vibrato notes, you can do that. Let me just demonstrate really quickly what I'm talking about here. You're gonna hear me in real time switch between vibrato and non-vibrato using the analog engine, AKA the real Leslie. And let me just play that again, but this time I'm gonna use the model engine. This is what you're sort of used to with traditional samples, but check out how clean it is and it is lacking all the dirt and sort of dust and vintage feeling from the real Leslie. It's good but it's not the same. The second reason this library stands out is that you have all the nine draw bars here and each of them are assembled individually. So when you wanna dial in your sound, you can totally do that. Let me try to just um, play something super basic here where I'll play sort of a repeated note and then I'll trick the different draw bars here so you can really hear how they stand apart. Like it's such a unique instrument and in order to really sample the right way, we had to sample each of the draw bars as well. And that also goes for each of the microphone positions and all that's reflected in it. But um, try to check it out here. It's really unique and uh, it gives you a good introduction to how the Hammond actually works. So the idea is that you can totally shape the tone of the instrument, the texture of the instrument. And again, all this is sampled true analog with the Leslie on for each of the draw bars here. So there's really, really a lot of stuff going on in it. The third reason that the library stands out is that you actually have all these additional switches here. There's sort of a percussive element to a lot of the traditional ways you play the Hammond here. And we actually record all the percussive sounds in the library as well here. So you can add all these little effects to the library that is all those small X noises and artifacts in the real Hammond organ here. And they really help give a more grindy sound as well. So, so in summary, 40,000 samples, multiple vintage microphones here. We also have both sustained staccato and spiccato articulation sampled individually here. We sampled everything both through a Precasti and a TC6000 reverb here. And uh, maybe I should just demonstrate that. Let me just play here with the Precasti first and then we'll try the TC6000 just so you can hear the difference between the two reverbs as well. You know, I think with samples, often it's overlooked to record the soulfulness of the instrument. And to give you a little example of how we're trying to get around that with the Hammond organ and really get into the soul of the instrument, you have stuff like this here. 
just small things here, like when you turn on the motor here, you can actually hear the Leslie motor here if you really wind it up in your mix and you get that true analog feeling in it. And even when you switch it off here, like you still get all the little noises that are coming for the instrument here. So uh, let me play something here. Um, let's turn the whole thing on here again. Uh, let's get the motor sound down a little bit here. And in this case here, you can see I'm using draw bar three and four to create sort of a more warm, funky, old school sound. Let me try to play this again. This time I'm going to switch it to the model mode here, meaning the way that it's commonly done, but not using all the real true samples of the Leslie and all the transitional legato stuff and all that stuff. And then I'll switch back and forth. I'll also play a little bit with the draw bars here, just to give you an idea about the world before and after model rotators. There's something beautiful. And when we speak about the solid instrument, when you really record the true instrument, the true Leslie, and we had microphones inside of the Leslie as well. You really, really get deeper into the soul of the instrument. And I think it comes off pretty clearly, um, particularly when you switch between these two modes here. Uh, but for the rest of the demo here, I'm going to stay here with the analog engine because it's the way to go. If you really want a true sound of the Hammond organ, you don't want to model it. You really want the real deal. That's why I'm saying like there's a before and after really using modeled and true Hammond samples here. It just has a grit, the dirtiness, the dustiness, the vintage vibe, the whole old school feeling. Um, the instrument is a grindy kind of thing. It's not designed to be totally clean like a piano or anything like that. So it's important to get into the dark soul of the instrument and record it from the inside here. Uh, let me play something else here. You can see this setup is different. Um, again, the analog engine is on here. Um, but you can see that draw bar configuration here on one, two, four, and six is uh, different than what we've just heard. And one of the unique things um, about this instrument as well, as you can see down here, we got black and white keys. These are actually different configurations of the draw bars that you can change in real time. Uh, let me play this thing right now and then I'll show you how that works afterwards. <laughs> All right, so let me just play something in real time here. Um, I'll just repeat a couple of keys on the keyboard and then um, you're gonna see me switch the key switches down here. That's gonna alternate the draw bar positions here in real time. You actually have multiple options and it's kind of cool to do in real time to immediately change the sound if you're doing something where you need um, an immediate switch between the textures. <laughs> And speaking of draw bar configurations here, uh, let me play something else for you. And if you notice up here, you can see we both have sustain, staccato and spiccato. And that really depends on your playing style. Sometimes you're gonna need those shorter notes to really do fast stuff. But for this next piece here, um, you can see this is a really different uh, draw bar configuration from the very low basses up to the very highest notes here. And um, these span over multiple octaves. So it's kind of interesting if you want to learn more about the Hammond organ, just to sit and pull them and listen to it. So this one has a vast span of sound going to deeper octaves and up to very high ones. It creates a very unique sound. It's great for more cluster, slower kind of stuff.
And for that preset, I actually went into our Chaos Effects and added some studio reverb. It's a little more dirty kind of reverb, but it works great with that sort of more old school sound. But again, um, have fun with the draw bars here. It's actually amazing how different it sounds. Uh, let me just trigger the same thing here again, and I'll modify the draw bars in real time so you can hear how quickly you can modify the sound. And all these presets, of course, come with the library. But as you can see, it's pretty easy actually to do a preset. In this case here, you know, we just got the analog engine on here. We got the two drawbars down here, meaning it's a more dark sound. We have a little more vibrato on. And that's it. The drawbars really define the sound of the instrument here. Um, also pay close attention to how I'm switching between the chorus and the tremolo effect here. You can also see down here in the mod wheel. It's just great when you want to sculpt between that non-vibrato and vibrato sound. It's, it's a huge part of the aesthetic and the soul of the Hammond organ. <laughs> And the transition from non-vibrato to vibrato or from chorus to tremolo, if you will, um, it's particularly noticeable when you play stuff like solos or you keep chords down, all that stuff. It's just a wonderful effect and it doesn't quite work when you model it because it becomes too precise. And again, that goes back to the sort of more non-linear behavior of a real Leslie speaker. Obviously, it has to kick in and start rotating all that stuff. It's, it's alive and it has a soul and a, and a beating heart that doesn't always have a perfect pulse, but there's more life to it. Uh, let me just play a little bit solo here. You know, you can just hear those beautiful, perfect imperfections in the sound. Yeah, it's alive, it's doing something. There's a soul in each little key here and it has a personality and you got nine drawbars and all that stuff. And that's really what this Hammond was about and why it took us a long time to do it. We're looking at over 40,000 samples here, a wealth of options here. We actually have both DI Warm, DI Crush. So recording directly from the inside of the Hammond organ. You also got the mix to spot in the room. If you wanna get more of that Leslie feeling, we got both the Precasti and CC6000 reverbs that we recorded the whole thing through, if you want that. Of course, you have our trusted chaos effects here on the backside if you ever wanna get into that. You have the ability to control both model and analog engine, and might I recommend that you stay with the analog for the most time. Uh, the release trigger is actually important for this instrument. There's a huge part of release stuff going on, so depending on how dirty you want the instrument, you can dial this one up and down. Um, you can also dial in the amount of Leslie noises that you want here. You just click these guys here and uh, you're all going and it can get really dirty if you wanted to. You have full control and these are all individually sampled drawbars. You have all the nine drawbars of the C3. But more importantly than all the fancy specs and all the 40,000 samples and all that stuff, it's actually just an instrument with soul. It plays like a real Hammond organ. It feels like it when you touch it on the keys. And that's what sets it apart. It's not just that we sample, oh my God, another like vintage keyboard, but this one really has the soul. And we actually had two Leicester speakers when we recorded the instrument. One of them was active and the other one was not active. And that allowed us to record the instrument both with non-vibrato and vibrato from inside the speaker. And it really affects the sound when you use the analog engine. There's a variety of recording tricks that helped us sort of gain more of a true natural acoustic sounds with the instrument. So it's just an awesome instrument. If you're into Hammond organ, this is definitely the ultimate one. And uh, I can say with great pleasure now that we've done with it, that we never ever have to go back and record this again. It's that comprehensive. This is the instrument of many, many decades to come uh, when it comes to really deep sampling um, an instrument in the most faithful and soulful way possible. So let me just play um, one little last thing here and uh, wrap it up and check out the website. We have a variety of more descriptions on it. Uh, we also have a variety of other vintage keyboards sampled with the same amount of passion and depth. So I encourage you to check those one out as well. This was Trolls Radio signing out here with the Studio Vintage Hammond's Organ.